Good news, Company D. We're making camp here. Oh. The mail's caught up with us. Hey, good. All right. Stack arms. Take your load off. We'll be issued three days' rations. You need to cook it all. And we'll be going back out on picket again tonight. Oh. Are the Rebs close? Oh, yes. The Rebs are close, sonny boy. They're fixing up a welcoming committee for all you greenhorns. Can we boil some coffee? Yeah, I believe the fence rails alone. What about the post? <laughs> <laughs> we could burn the post. You burn the post, and the colonel will have you rebuilding that fence. Yeah? Yeah! Use your rifle. <laughs> Better break in them gunboats you're wearing and learn how to keep up. Uh, all right. Need to learn to carry your musket and your knapsack. I know. We have enough to carry. Vandermeer! Here. Is that from home? It is. Can you read it? Of course I can read it. I think he meant it. Yeah, I know. I know. Dear husband, I write this letter hoping you are well. The newspaper tells of the Battle of Gettysburg. Reports are that 53,000 killed or wounded. I pray that you're not among them. Please, if you receive this letter, write me so a wife can rest easy. Your anxious wife. That's all? The rest is private, personal. You read? Finished grammar school. Good. Right? Yes. George, you've got a good one here. He can help me write the letters for the others. Right. Come on, recruit. Let's go get some firewood. Ah, Paul. Another letter home. Who's this one for? Dear Ma, Pa, Bessie, Abner, and little Joe. And Benny. That's my dog. The boys here are learning me to... Teaching you? Teaching me to rip. If we're spending the night here, why don't we put up our tents? There's still a lot of daylight left. Generals like to change their minds. And I reckon we can go another four or five miles. Just when we get our camp set up the way we like it, then we've got to take it all down again. It's too much bother. And the day is long, and we'll know we're staying. Then we can put our tents up. See here. Yeah, let's race, let's race. Let's see. Ein, zwei, drei. We need one more laus. Uh, George, haben Sie ein laus? Yes. I've got lice, but I'm not going to race mine on a hot plate just to lose my army pay. <laughs> I'll join in. Ah, das bounty laus. <laughs> Wunderbar. Yeah. A bounty loss will do. Let's uh, race, mine here. Let's race. Yeah. <laughs> das Gladiator! Yeah, games of chance are very popular. Poker, chuck a luck, men will bet on anything. I've seen men get their month's pay of $13 in the morning and be broke by sunset. Hmm. Do you gamble? No. I reckon it's gamble enough just being in the army. <laughs> I suppose that's so. Yeah. What's that over there? Oh, well. We're not all sinners to the core. That's Deacon Penn preaching to the faithful. He's pretty darn good at it, too. That's Friday. I'll go on Sunday. I hope we don't get in a big fight. Well, may I go over there? Well, sure, go ahead. But don't forget to bring your firewood back. And what about you? I'm Jewish. All right, what do you got? All right then, recruit. You're with me. <laughs> Takes all kinds to fight a war, yes, sir. <laughs> he understood the travails that we undergo. He knows what it's like to be cold at night with no place inside to go to get warm. He knows what it's like to be out in the rain, to be able to understand our suffering. His feet got sore. The sweat rolled off his brow.